Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today we're back working on our uh, steam engine crosshead that we're doing for Eric over at Hand Tool Rescue. And in a previous episode, we had taken some bronze castings and uh, machined some slots in the back and actually got them mounted to the cast iron crosshead. Um, got really probably the worst part of this job done. The final step is we need to turn all of this on the crosshead to a the diameter and I need to go double check what that is. Uh, I've got a number that Eric sent me and I'm uh, gonna do that over on the lathe with everything mounted up here so that it will basically be the correct size. Now to do this, it's gonna require a couple of fixtures that we're gonna need to make to mount this thing on. It's all about work holding here um, and we're gonna get into that in just a minute but we're gonna have to make a couple of fixtures and then mount this over on the lathe and uh, turn that final diameter. Hopefully, won't be too big of a challenge. Let's get at it and get it done. Let's start out by just going over our part again here and kind of where we've gotten to so far. So in the previous episode, we took the castings that we had made and uh, we machined uh, a little notch in the bottom where these things will slide up and down. This crosshead is designed where these brass shoes are adjustable so that as it wears, you can remove a shim up here and basically tighten that up. And it will, because it's on a little bit of a taper on either side, it'll just widen it out and make this part wider. So it's adjustable so that you can, uh, again, adjust for wear. Uh, we've already got all the machining done uh, to get the slot in there. We got the, the screws that hold it to the bottom all machined. We got the tops up here machined and drilled and everything else. The final step is to turn this to the final diameter that we need. Now, like we mentioned just a minute ago, the challenge is going to be work holding. We've got to be able to hold this on the lathe. There's no way to really chuck this. We've got a half inch 13 uh, threaded hole in the very center of this, and that really is going to become our point of reference that we're gonna machine off of. So what we're gonna do is uh, two fixtures. The hole goes all the way through and it is drilled and tapped into the bottom. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little piece of metal here, we're gonna thread it on one end and put a center hole in the other. Um, and that will thread in there into the bottom. And when we put this on the layer, this will just allow us to put a center in here to give it some added support. Is it needed? Arguably, we could probably get by without it, but I just like having that added support. The other thing we're gonna need to do is I'm gonna take this piece, and again, we'll cut, cut out a, a half inch 13 thread. Uh, we will be able to basically screw this thing onto this stock. We will chuck this up in the lathe, and that is what we will hold it on. This part will turn and onto that stud, and then we'll have the piece coming out the bottom that will have a center drill in there to give us some added support and then we can put all that over on the lathe to turn that outside diameter. That's the game plan. Let's go over to the lathe and uh, get her knocked out. We'll start out by making that little uh, piece with the center on the end. This is a piece of 5 8 inch stock roughly, and all I wanna do is just turn a half inch 13 stud on the end of that. So we'll do this over on the metal lathe. Let's get it fired up. Start by uh, facing that. Touch off here and turn that down to half inch. Some gummy stock. Just trying to get that little burr cut off of it. Roughly see where we're at here, about 583. If 
about 60 more thou to come off. Right on the money. All right. Come in here and chamfer that front edge. Touch off, set my blade to 13 threads per inch. All right, slow things down here. for a number to come around here and we will make a scratch pass. And I need to go a little bit deeper. All right. And it looks like 13, so let's go ahead and knock this out. Check that. Let's try it now here. There we go. That's just what we wanted. That should screw into the back side. Let's see, we're gonna flip this around. I'm just gonna face off to the other side. I'll put my center in uh, once it's on the part. That way our center will be absolutely true to what we're turning. But I do want to go ahead and face this while we're while we're right here. Just flatten that side. And we'll go ahead and chamfer it while we're at it in here. There we go. That part of my fixture should be done. Next part of my fixtures, we need another piece here that just has a piece of half inch 13, same as before, but a wider bearing area. That'll be for the top part of this. Um, I know this piece of stock's got some run out in it. We're gonna turn it out and we'll do all of our, we will not take this piece out of the lathe uh, before we do it. It's a one-time job, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I know this piece of metal's got a little, little tiny bit of bend in it. And I've been looking for a way to use it on something. This is going to be a good place to kind of get rid of it. All right. We'll again start by facing that. Wait, my thread's about that deep right there. Turning that out. All right, let's cut her down. Cutting about a hundred thou right there. Getting a kind of a bad chip, not crazy about, but let's just cut through this thing, get done with it. I 
think I'm going to change that insert. I suspect it's uh, getting kind of dull. It's just not cutting like it should. I'll be right back. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We're going to do another hundred thou. Let's see how this one works. Same insert. I just flipped it over to a new face. And look at there. Those uh, chips are breaking like they should at a, uh, just a worn insert. All right, let's get this on down to half inch. Take a quick look and see where we're at. About 690. That should be it. Just verify. Yeah, we're right on the money. All right, we will. Face his shoulder. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit right there just to give me a surface it's not really running out if for some reason I need to set it back up I can put an indicator on that and uh, get it back where we want it get a little bit more off that diameter clean it up completely there we go Right this corner right here. Get it slowed back down here. All right, we're gonna chamfer the front edge in there. I like to chamfer the leading edge with my threading insert. It just gives me the same angle on the front that we're cutting threads. Touch off here. And I haven't changed any settings, so we should still be on 13. Let's just go for it. Threading up against that shoulder is a little nerve wracking, but. Uh, you do it enough, you get used to it, and I'll probably crash it now that I said that. Oh, almost caught it there. Try that. Let's try that. And I think that's gonna be fine. Let's get our cross head and screw up on there. It's gonna work fine. Um, I need to machine me out a little groove, a little pocket back there in the very back so it'll go right up on that shoulder. So uh, let me change out tools here and knock that out real quick. What I'm gonna do is just kinda 
circle in there on the back side of that behind it and take it back. It wasn't quite going up all the way to that shoulder. I'm just going to reface that shoulder while I'm at it. Now let's try it. There we go. I really want that to be tight right there. And that's where we were at a while ago. It wasn't quite doing that. So now, let's see what that looks like when we turn it. Okay. This piece has got a little run out on it, but I'm not worried about that. We're just gonna, I'm gonna reface that in. We're gonna put a center hole in there. That's just to give me some extra support. center drill. Yeah, and I'm not worried about that running out. What I'm worried about is having some support on the center line. And by doing this, we've got exactly that. All right, now I can put a live center on that end and it'll support everything just fine. I think we're good. All right, let's get ready to turn that diameter. All right, I've got this ready to start turning. Our outside diameter, according to the measurements that Eric sent me, was three and nine sixteenths of an inch, which is 3.5625. Now I'm just going to real quickly just get a rough measurement here of my calipers. That seems to be the smallest diameter on there and that's about 3.650. So we should, be, um, we should clean up just fine. That was the main thing I was looking at there. So, uh, get in here. I'm gonna touch off here. And start cutting this down. Kind of because of the way the casting is, it's kind of bailed out in the bottom down here. We're probably not even going to touch down there for a little bit. So we're just going to take a little bit out. A little bit heavier cut there. touched all the way across, but we're not cleaned up. I want to do want to get kind of a measurement on that and just kind of see where we're at. So uh, looks like the top is pretty, pretty good. I'm just going to measure it with the calipers right now. This is just a rough measurement, but I do want to kind of see where I'm at. And we are at three inch 790. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that in my digital readout where I can kind of keep track of where I'm at. Take about 60 thou off again. in here. All right, we are definitely cleaning it up. So let's do about another All right, 
we got a good bit of material to take off, so 60,000 seems to be working good. I'm just going to keep doing that. We'll take a couple more passes and uh, see where we're at. Quick peek where we are cleaning up. One side's cleaned up, the other one's still working on. Take another 60 thou. Almost cleaned up and get a rough measurement again. We're, all right, so we're uh, three inches, six hundred ten thousandths. I'm going to what am I going to five six two five. So uh, tell you what, we will take. Let's just take 10, 20, 30. We'll just take 30 thou off this pass. 10, 20, 30. We'll get a real good measurement and finish it up. We are completely cleaned up now, except for maybe one little dimple right there. And uh, I'm gonna get the micrometer this time and check it with this way. Three inch, 581 thousandths. And that's almost exactly reading my digital readout. Okay, what well, I'm just going to dial in to 5625 on the digital readout. Right on it, right there. This should be my final pass. Get a final measurement here. All right, so what is that? That's three inch, 500. We got two marks, so that's uh, 50 thousandths plus just under 13. So that's gonna be uh, 65, 60, Three and we were shooting for five sixty-two and a half. So, and we we're with we're within tenths of hitting that right on the mark. And with the adjustments we have in here, I think we're going to be fine. So, um, hey, we're done. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. We'll put a chamfer tool on here, and I'm just going to touch these tops and bottoms of this just to break those corners. Looks like it caught it on both sides. All right, I think we're good. Well guys, let's take a look at the finished product here. 
have those shoes all turned to the proper diameter. And I think that this is ready to go back to Eric. So we're going to box it up and uh, put it in the mail. Going to ship it back to Canada, up to the frozen white north, and uh, let him get it put back on his steam engine. And hopefully, you guys will see a video coming up from him soon, uh, putting that thing back together, and maybe even getting to run it on on some air, if not steam. Well, there we go, Eric. I hope that this will take care of your problem and allow you to get that thing back together. This has been a fun little project. It's required a lot of aspects. So, you know, we had to do have some imagination and creativity to kind of come up with the design to do this. Had to draw it up in Fusion 360, 3D print pattern, send it off to a foundry, have the parts cast, bring it back in, and do some fairly interesting machining on it. So. Uh, Fun little project. This is the kind of stuff I love to do. And uh, Eric, uh, I wish you the best with the rest of the project. Uh, hope everything goes like it plans, and I uh, hope this uh, gets the job done for you. And like I said before, we're going to get it put in a box and headed up to Saskatoon, Canada, uh, where Eric will finish this project out. Guys, uh, that will be a wrap. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, those thumbs up and comments are appreciated. And uh, hit that bell icon when you subscribe so you get notifications, comments, all that good, good stuff. We appreciate all that. Um, and with that, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.